In this tutorial, we're going to be folding the double open triangle twist. And this is a somewhat uncommon uh, twist for origami tessellations. Notice that it has two grid spacings per edge on this hole on the back. Um, and we're going to be folding it on a eight fold triangle grid on a square. Now this tutorial is part of the Summer of Twist series, so definitely check out the series welcome video if you're unfamiliar with this grid. And that also means that you can sign up for email reminders for the whole series of 30 twists at training.gatheringfolds.com slash summer. And there's a um, longer tutorial where this twist is used in context in a larger pattern that will be recommended at the end. So let's get started with our uh, twist. I'm going to locate the center of the paper and find a triangle that has two grid spacings per side. So I took the center, I took a uh, grid spacing on either side of the center and then picked a side for the rest of my triangle. I could have just as easily picked the other side, which is the same but turned halfway around. So from this triangle, I'm going to extend the edges to the edge of the paper so that I'm only extending the edge in one direction. I'm only extending one of the edges at each corner. So this is going to set up a rotationally symmetric start. And notice that this triangle of two um, grid spacings per side has at its center a grid triangle. So we couldn't put it exactly in the center of the paper. Next, I'm going to put in my valley folds. Which are one spacing away from each mountain fold further away than the central triangle. Now I'm going to start making these mountains actually into mountain folds and the valleys into valley folds. Setting this up on my paper, I notice that the paper kind of wants to fight me. When I'm setting up two, the other one wants to come undone. But we just need to get those all three set up at the same time and start pressing down those pleats and we're going to get our new triangle forming when we press out to the corners to the edges from the center one thing we want to be careful of while doing this is we want to make sure that our valley folds are staying on the grid lines so out of sight, out of mind, but if they shift, then that can be why a triangle goes a little wonky. And that is our double open triangle twist. I just want to take a minute to show you the difference between the setup. And I'll return to our original orientation. The difference between our setup and the final folds. So our final folds are these triangle or these edges of the triangle twist that have replaced our grid lines going into the center that are continuations of the mountain folds that come to the corners. One thing to notice about the corners of the twist is they're on grid intersections and they're where a valley fold meets the next direction of mountain fold in all twists at all times. And so when we're looking at a twist, we want to be projecting those mountains in from the corners to see the setup 
instead of just the crease pattern. And if we look at the back, we'll see that crease pattern with the mountain and valley folds swapped. Like so. And this will have the central triangle um, of the twist in valley folds instead of mountain folds. So whenever you see the twist like this, like for example, um, in the Summer of Twists ebook or some of my other crease patterns in Tessellation Garden, you'll know that you need to flip the paper over so that you're working with mountain folds that project into the twist. And then you can set up and squash. So that's all for this double open triangle twist tutorial. Um, check out the longer tutorial to use this twist in a repeating pattern. And make sure to check out advanced twist techniques if you'd like to learn more about the theory behind the twist and how this idea applies to all of the other twist shapes too. So happy folding and I'll see you in the next video.